Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the first uh, uh, movement in infancy uh, uh, in the benign category in kids who are less than two years of age. Uh, uh, and uh, this one is a, is a common uh, disorder we see and uh, a lot of the family they know it. It's called benign myoclonus of infancy or sleep myoclonus or benign neonatal myoclonus. Myoclonus is, uh, is defined as uh, uh, a rapid, sudden contraction of the muscles, whether it is, you know, axial muscle where the kid, you know, jerk, or, you know, if it is, uh, uh, you know, body part or limbs like, you know, segmental myoclonus. Uh, a lot of the time, uh, you know, we see kids who tend to uh, uh, jerk during sleep while their eyes are closed or they tend while they are feeding or you know playing they tend to jerk one or to the back okay and that's it uh, uh, this uh, benign myoclonus is is uh, is uh, uh, is normal in kids less than two years of age uh, the reason it happens more in infancy in infant because the central nervous system is in the maturation phase and uh, Usually it will uh, it is in the evolving phase, so there's a lot of, of abnormal movement that happen during this maturation phase. One of them is uh, myoclonic myoclonus. Uh, usually uh, the one that we are talking about here, benign myoclonus of infancy, it's a sudden jerk uh, that happen in the kid. It happen once. It does not happen in a cluster. It is a brief. And it's not associated uh, uh, with uh, uh, certain event like waking up from sleep or during sleep. Uh, during uh, exclusively during uh, sleep and uh, there is is not associated with alternating status it is not associated with the crying uh, the patient is the, has been developmentally normal and the patient has also uh, been uh, you know uh, uh, before and after and during the event you know uh, absolutely normal he just jerk and that's it and the kid is otherwise absolutely normal this is we call it benign myoclonus of infancy uh, regarding the sleep myoclonus you know the kids they will jerk during sleep and exclusively during sleep and uh, they tend to have their eyes are closed and they are suddenly they will jerk one time their right upper extremity left lower extremity left upper extremity and sometimes the whole body as long as the eyes are closed and this movement is non-rhythmic it does not happen like in a rhythmic way it just like a jerk it does not happen in the cluster it does not wake up the kids from sleep the big sleep kids that does not cry during these at attacks and is not associated with any recent change in the development or in the in the interaction i would just keep eye on that now if the myoclonus uh, or these jerks start to happen in cluster one after another uh, I would uh, be very worried uh, because uh, this could be a signs of uh, infantile spasm, uh, uh, whether it is, you know, uh, a flexor or extensor or flexor and extensor, a mixed type. Uh, the key point, it happened in clusters and usually it happened during waking up from sleep or during going up into a sleep and is usually associated with alternate status or altered, you know, uh, you know, pattern of development or regression. Uh, that is something we always need to discuss with the, uh, with the uh, pediatric neurologist and always I emphasize we need to discuss with fully trained pediatric neurologist because he is the one who, is, who has seen more cases than any other uh, or anybody body else. Uh, capturing a video is always, always preferable and is always advised. If a picture worth uh, worth worth more than one thousand, then a video worth more than uh, ten thousand uh, uh, picture uh, pictures. So please, you know, try to capture a video if possible and. Um, always share it with the doctor i always advise the patient when they come to me or the family i tell them listen you know it looks like it's benign we don't need to do the eeg uh, everything looks normal but having said that if you have any question or comment or concern or if there is change in the pattern please come back to me a lot of the events that happen in kids less than two years of age are uh, just wait and see but if there is change in the pattern or change in the in the in the event or any uh, you know red flags that i usually tell them about uh, about during the visit uh, please don't hesitate to call me back and uh, uh, get in touch with me you know these movements they can be a moving target but by far the majority once we see them we know what we are dealing with Yes, some of them are confusing, but I guess, you know, with, uh, with, uh, uh, with time, we tend to, uh, you know, dissect 
the the the, the one that are uh, abnormal easily from uh, the normal one. Uh, this is about uh, uh, benign myoclonus of infancy. Uh, it's a straightforward, simple topic, but it, it is a common and common consultation for us. Uh, thank you guys, and please wait for us for the second, uh, you know, for the second uh, normal event, uh, uh, which is shuddering attack, and we will talk about this one in the uh, next episode. Thank you, and have a good day.